Hey guys, what's up? It's Ryan, and today we're going to be making a, a simple bucket plugin tutorial that uses command senders and um, Java logging. So you're going to want to download the bucket API off the um, page right here. I'm going to provide the links in the description. And you want to download the bucket API recommended build. I have this downloaded already. So you just want to go ahead and download that. So I'm going to show in Finder. Here all this. So then we can close out the page, and then we're going to make, let me see, put this in here, and, or any folder that you want to put it into. So then we can go to Eclipse, and then make a new project. So file new, Java project, and right now I'm using Java SE 1.6, which I recommend not using 1.7 right now. So we do hello world, name the project, new project really simple. So then in our properties, or right click our project and go down to properties and Java build path and then in libraries click ex add external jars and go to the folder where we um, added our bucket API. So then we just do that and then click OK and then we have our reference library. So go to source and then go to new package and uh, it's going to be in, in so instead of com, um, bucket likes you do it like this so we do me.crip. Hello world, or whatever. It's just me dot name your name dot hello world. So there we have that, and then we're gonna make a new class, and we're gonna call this main. This is where all of our code is gonna go. We're gonna have one main class for everything that we do. So we're gonna start by in our public class, we're gonna be doing extends Java plugin. So then we're gonna have to import Java plugin. Okay, and then we're gonna enable our logger. So then we do it logger. No, it's actually public. Oh, who's calling you? Dude, is it your phone? <laughs> public final logger. Logger equals logger dot get. Is that really your ringtone? <laughs> logger dot get logger. And we're going to call the logger Minecraft. Oh god, what am I doing? So public final logger. What the oh yeah, we have to import Java util logging. So now that we have that, we can go ahead and we can make our public voids are on enable. So public void on enable logger dot info. And it's going to be, um, hello world has been enabled. Simple as that. And then we make another one for public void on disable. It's going to be the same exact thing, logger.info. And for those of you who don't know, this is what displays in the console when, um, this is what displays in the console when you're starting up your, um, your, your when your plugin is being successfully loading, it will display this text. So hello world has oh, been disabled. All right. So now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing uh, our command senders. So we're gonna start doing that. So you're gonna want to make a public boolean on command command sender sender um, command cmd string uh yeah it's gonna do some shorter command label and then string and then args so you're gonna do if command label dot equals ignore case slash hello so this is gonna this is what's gonna be our slash command and then oh yeah we forgot to do something really important we do player player equals player sender. So we need to import something for that. It's a player entity. So we're gonna import all this stuff real quick while we're out here. And then oh my god. Alright, we don't have to worry about the return statement right now. So then we do if they type in slash hello player dot send message. We're gonna do chat colors with this to make it more interesting. 
chat color dot what's a good color? I guess we should do bold plus and then um you typed slash hello quote and then uh, we have to import the chat color. Or do we? Oh it already does it for us, awesome. Alright, so then once we do this, we can um make our other if statement. So if you're if we're only gonna have two if statements I would recommend doing else if instead of just doing if. So else if command label dot equals ignore. Why does it give me an error already? Command label dot equals ignore case. I guess we'll do this slash world. Then um, player dot send message chat color dot bold plus you typed slash world. And there's a lot of things you can do with this, but um, this is say oh yeah our return statement. They're really gonna return false. So then we would just return it false, and then everything's all. Happy and nice. <laughs> so this is pretty much I like to keep these all organized. So let's comment some things. These are all in console. From here, this whole area is all the console. This is what displays in the console. And this is our logger. And this is the text. So we're gonna be also showing the text. But we need to do something really, really important. There's a this is, the plugin will not work if you don't have this. It's called plugin.yml. And uh, what you do is you would right click on your project and you click on new file and you'd create you'd create it. But in this case, I'm just going to be dragging it in. And if you're also going to be dragging in the one that I supply for you in the description, always drag it right into your project or else it will not work. Double click on it. Okay. So I already have this set up. So the name of your project, your main, which is your your uh, your uh, first Java class. And then the version 1.0, the description, tutorial plugin, commands, hello, description says something back, world, world description says something back again. So this is the format. I will put this in the description. And when we're done with that, you just have to refresh this. So right click, refresh. I like to do it on the project too. So then after we have all this, we can go to file, export, and under Java, under jar file, next. And we'll put this on my desktop as hello world.jar. Okay, and make sure all these things are included class path project and plugin.yml. Click finish. And then we can get out of Eclipse for a second. And then we have our hello world.jar, our um, whatever this is, little thing. So I'm going to turn on my server real quick. Actually, you know what would have been smarter if I put the plugin in first so I can show you guys that it gets generated. Yeah, see now I have to wait for I have to restart the server. Or I can just I can just reload it. So Alright, there we go. It stopped itself. So now in our server you can see where it says it's gonna say hello world has started. Which is our plugin. See, hello world, loading hello world v1.0. You can also do permissions with this, but I think I might save that to another tutorial. Why is this not saved as LOTC? Oh shit, I want to log into this. Alright, well, I'm just going to log into localhost for now. Uh, or not. Hold on a second, let me see. Don't tell me my IP address changed. Sorry about this, guys. I think my IP changed. <laughs> this could be a good or bad thing. Shit, now no one's gonna have my server. Yep, oh. Oh, wait a second. My IP changed because I'm on my neighbor's internet, Dovey. <laughs> okay, let me switch my internet. I feel like an idiot right now. Alright. 
Alright, sorry about this again, guys. So, launch.command. So, we're just gonna start with the server on the right port now. And that's our hello world has been enabled. So, it works. But we're just gonna log into the game to make sure that it completely works. My god, not to. <laughs> Sometimes Minecraft can be a bitch. Let's try that one more time. Well, at least we got a communication error, so the server's up. Alright, so now we're gonna log into it. And we're going to do our commands that we issued into. It comes up. The world. Hello slash hello and it works you can also do permissions but like I said I'm gonna save that into um, another thing and uh, there's our plugin right there hello world right with all the other plugins so guys that is how you make a basic um, plugin tutorial well no not a tutorial but that's how you make a basic bucket plugin that uses commands so that's video and I'll give it to you which you probably already saw it anyway <laughs> so that's all guys thank you for watching